Hey everyone, this is Long Gross with the Chaos Group, and in this video I'd like to show you some of the speed improvements we've introduced with V-Ray 3.0. If we open up our last frame buffer, I've rendered our demo scene using V-Ray 2.4 at half HD resolution in 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Now let's see how fast it'll go in 3.0. So in our scene, I'm using Brute Force GI, Glossy Reflections, and Subsurface Scattering on our frog. I'm also using a 6-core Intel i7 processor with a clock speed of 3.3 GHz and 12 gigs of RAM. I'll go ahead and pause the recording while the scene continues to render. OK, and we're back. One additional feature we've added to V-Ray 3.0 is the dynamic splitting of the render buckets. This automatically reduces the size of the render buckets as the render nears completion to ensure that the maximum number of threads are being used. And let's see how fast that was. So in V-Ray 3.0, our scene went from 2 minutes and 45 seconds down to 1 minute and 42 seconds. That's a savings of about 40%. Okay, thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other videos on V-Ray 3.0.